Today, what we're going to be doing is looking at some automations with Reddit AI SEO, which is absolutely insane for SEO at the minute. So, for example, we pull up reddit.com and we'll pull up their rankings right here. Whilst we're waiting for that to load, I can show you an example of how well this actually ranks. So if we pull up a keyword, for example, like best rapid website indexer, you can see my subreddit is ranking number one right there using AI SEO. And it's incredible that it's grown from like zero to, to 572 million traffic, right? Yeah, that's insane. I, I feel like at some point, Red has to be nerfed, right? Like it, it only makes sense. Like right now it's just getting so much traffic, but um, I think I think we should definitely be using it um, while we can. Yeah, that's it. I think, you know, Reddit gets a bad name for SEO because a lot of people use it unethically, like they just spam affiliate links, but that's not what we're going to show you today. And also, one of the interesting things is Reddit is now blocking basically all search engines that are not paying. So Google, obviously, they have a partnership with Reddit, and so Google can still crawl and index content from Reddit. But actually, for example, other search engines like Bing, or perplexity they can't index the content from reddit pretty crazy right that's probably like uh that's i i reckon that's probably why red uh, google invested into reddit um because again if if you can stop other platforms like crawling and scraping that data and obviously we, we know now like data is like key at the minute um it yeah. probably does make sense yeah, that's it. That's it. How do you tip? I mean, I'm going to run through my process in a second. I'll give everyone the SAP and the steps and the workflow and the prompts, etc. But have you used Reddit much for SEO yourself? Um, I've dabbled in it. Um, I, I'm probably not as advanced as, as what you are when it comes to like the Reddit and stuff. But like my process is fairly simple. Like I, I just go over to like auto login and then I just get the content and then upload it. Um, but you're actually going to show like a more in-depth strategy here, aren't you? Yeah, exactly, exactly. The first thing that I would say, right, is like for anyone watching, and you'll notice this in, we're just going to focus on what works right now. So for example, this page is ranking number one. You can see it's been ranking since June, which is, you know, we're coming up to two months with this page ranking right now. And if we look at the actual content, what you can see here is that basically this is posted on a subreddit and it's free for anyone to create a subreddit on Reddit. And then you would just make sure that when you're creating this subreddit, it's niche relevant to your topic. So for example, if I want to rank in the SEO niche, then I would have a subreddit that I've created around that particular niche, like SEO with AI. That's the first place yeah. I would always recommend someone starting. And then from there, it's, it's pretty simple, but essentially you would post the keyword that you want to rank for inside the title and then answer it yourself with the content right here. And you can see how we're linking to multiple different tools right here that we make money from, right? So we're sending the traffic from this answer directly to the pages that we want to make money from. And so I was thinking there must be a way that you can actually automate it. Now, I'm going to come on to that in a second, but one thing I want to show you first is exactly how you can use content from Claude to rank on Reddit. So essentially, I'm not going to cover too much on the keywords because I've covered that in about 100 different other videos. But essentially, you can use a prompt like this to find relevant keywords. For example, if I want to make money with indexes, then I can find relevant indexing keywords to rank with. From there, I can generate the content. And basically, you want to create like a content outline, like the structure of your content and exactly how you're going to write it step by step. So... For example, we always talk about entities, LSI, semantic relevance, and also like focusing on the user intent. So for example, if someone wants to figure out what is the best rapid website indexer, then the first thing you want to tell them is, is what is the best product to use, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. And then what is, and then if they need more information, okay, what is a website indexer? Why is it important to have one? What makes this tool the best one? To, to rank with, for example. And so you can use this process right here to generate the content outline, and you just reverse engineer your top ranking competitors' content, their headings, subheadings, the word count, topics mentioned, etc. Yeah. And one thing that I like to do, I know you like to do this too, is like you would take your competitors' content and then you can extract the keywords, LSIs, and entities from that page. 
Yeah, you, you, you can also um, extract like the subheadings as well. I, I don't know if, if, if you've mentioned that, um, but that, that also works pretty well. Nice, yeah, so you could actually automate that with a prompt like this, but just find the subheadings as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. And then when it comes to the content, what you can do is based on those headings and the subheadings that you found, I know we worked on this content prompt together, but essentially mm -hmm. you can, for each heading that you found, you can ask it to, to create the content. So for example, let's say we want to create a section on what is a website indexer inside our Reddit post. So what we can do is we can go into Claude. We can plug the content from the prompt and then we'll just take the heading that we want to generate content around. So for example, what is a website indexer? Hit command and enter if you're on a Mac just to, to get that content to load. And then from here, we can generate the content really quickly and easily just by using this process. And this essentially would be the content that you include underneath the heading, what is a website indexer. Now, what do you actually think to the content generated by Claude? Um, all right, let's dive into the website indexers. Trust me. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's it's typical like AI content. Do I? Do you know what I I thought it'd be a little bit better personally. Um, like, there's no subheadings. Yeah, so I? this is essentially like the content just under the heading. So like, yeah, you. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, it's it's not it's not bad. I mean, for for this is free, right? Exactly, it's free. Yeah. Yeah. So f for free content, it's it's not it's not terrible. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, it's not terrible. I should put that in the title, like how to create not terrible content to rank with Reddit. So <laughs> <laughs> from here, you've generated the content. You can do that for each heading or subheading that you want to create, and then you just post it inside here and just in include CTAs throughout the content, just to monetize it and make sure that it actually converts into money. That's essentially it when it comes to, to generating content and ranking it. Now, last step that I would say is typically with Reddit or, you know, if you're creating content on Medium and that sort of thing is, first of all, quality checking it before you create the, you know, before you publish it. So you want to just quality check it. It's going to convert better. It's going to be better content anyway for the user. And then additionally, it's going to make your brand look better, right? If you're publishing this under your brand, you don't want to hurt your brand, right? Yeah, definitely. You, you you should always like take take a minute. Take to, a minute to... Like uh, what a lot of people do is they they see a Reddit or they see, look at a medium and they think ah more traffic. But you shouldn't actually necessarily look at it like that. It it should almost be like a a supporting arm to for your brand. Like you would never just go and publish some junk through to your Facebook or your Twitter only because you've got like five thousand followers. Like if if you start producing loads of junk. Your, your Twitter followers are going to get pissed off and they're going to unfollow you. Same goes with like Reddit and same goes with Medium as well. If you start producing loads of junk, they're just going to start leaving your subreddit or they're going to start stop following you on uh, Medium and stuff. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's like, it's quality, not quantity, isn't it, when it comes to, to YouTube or any sort of social media platform. Yeah, so, for sure. Basically, just to recap, so far in this process right here, so... You do the keyword research, how do you do that? You can do it for free using this prompt. Then you're gonna generate the content outline, how do you do it? You can use this prompt right here. Okay, but then how do you generate the content? Well, you can generate a free subheading using this process, and then you're gonna quality control it with the step-by-step -step checklist right here. Now, when you post it onto Reddit, you would essentially post it as a new post, keyword in the title, plus the content as the answer. And then the final thing that I would say is like, you probably want to use an indexing tool because quite often when you're creating this content on other platforms that you don't have access to Google Search Console for, you need a way to make sure that Google actually finds it and indexes it, right? Yeah, definitely. It's, um, indexing at the minute, is it seems like it's a big issue. So even if you've got like the correct website architecture and stuff, like there's still a lot of big website owners that are still complaining about indexing and stuff. And... The, the the two ways that you can really get, or actually there's probably three ways to, to improve indexing. It's probably improving your internal linking structure, um, building more links, 
or running your pages for an indexer. Um, and running your pages for an indexer is probably going to be like the cheapest one. Or well, actually building more internal links is probably going to be the cheapest one. Then it's probably running it for an indexer. And then it's building more links for it to your website. 100%. By the way, all the prompts and all the workflows that we're talking about today, including the SAPs inside my free course, link in the comments and description if you want to get access to that. And the one final thing I wanted to show you, which I haven't experimented with yet, but we got a YouTube comment about it today, and I was like, that's an interesting idea. So I'm going to share make.com, which is basically like a no-code workflow, kind of like Zapier, but it's free, so you don't pay. You can see I'm on the, the free plan right here, and I use this a lot, and I've only, I've only used less than 10% of my, my free credits for the month. But what you can see right here is that you can create scenarios where you link your APIs, say, for example, with Claude or with Perplexi or whatever sort of content creation tool you want to use. And then you can actually, you can actually add Reddit at the end, right? So for example, you see how this is a, a medium workflow and how you can draft content to medium right here. You can actually do the same with, with Reddit, I think. So if we click on clone over here, we'll hit save. We'll delete medium off the end of the process. And then from here, we're going to add Reddit. And if we type in Reddit right here, we can hit submit a post. We can create a connection. We'll hit save. We'll log in right here on a different screen. And that should connect. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. So we've got the title. We can add the subreddit display name. You can say link post or text post. So you probably want a text post. And then you can insert the content that you generated previously directly inside the text right here. Yeah, that's, um, that's pretty crazy that you can just automate that entire process because... I, I remember like we used to do stuff like this like way back when and you, you like for the longest time ever you just couldn't and it was also a pretty manual process but now it, it just looks like you can just take it to like another level with like with make.com and and with ai and stuff so that that's pretty cool to see yeah that's it i'm not sure how you would I'm not sure what these settings mean. I'd need to play around with it more, but it's crazy that you can just automate posting to Reddit. And then hopefully there must be some way you can actually set it as a draft, mm -hmm. not as an actual live post, just to make sure it works before you quality control it. And then from there, you're good to go, aren't you, pretty much? Yeah, definitely. Does, does that, do you pick the subreddit that you want to put publish in? That's the one thing that I didn't actually see. It says uh, subreddit display name. So I assume like you can just choose... The subreddit based on that ah right okay what do you reckon um it'd be interesting so have a look if make.com have some actual information on it how to retrieve top posts from subreddit yeah reddit new post or comment match in search yeah i'm pretty sure i could figure out if i had like an extra 30 minutes one hour but i don't want to bore people on youtube yeah i think um I, well i mean worst case scenario like medium.com is ranking pretty well so you could e you could do either or um and if it works for medium it'll definitely work for reddit yeah that's it i actually did do that with medium yesterday there's a video on my youtube channel mm -hmm. this one right here free medium ai autoblogger and you can just basically automate creating content with claude directly on make.com and then send that straight over to medium crazy that's stuff. quite cool yeah and it drafts it as a post so you can format it nicely before it's published are you on the free package of make.com yeah wild wow. isn't it it's wild yeah wow i don't that's... think it gets enough credit like nobody talks about it but it's just crazy how powerful this is that's insane yeah and you do pay for the api on claude mm -hmm. but I ran a bunch of demos and content automations recently with this. It cost me about 35 cents for the whole month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's insane.
It's crazy. I think, stuff. I think um, anybody that's watching this, they, like, if you're not doing anything with Make.com, like, there's something to automate. Like, even if it's not, even if you don't want to do like the Reddit stuff or the Medium stuff that we've just shown you, um, you could definitely take advantage of like publishing as draft to your website. Um, there, there'll be there'll be tons of things that you can do. I'm I'm certain that you could probably even like. Um, re-optimize content with make.com as well like if you have an existing post there'll be a way to like re-optimize that page and make it even stronger and better as well yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. all right so thanks so much everyone for watching so i've shown you proof that reddit has gone to 572 million i've shown you a free workflow you can use with claude to automate the whole process and then just quality control it at the end you get access to this links in the comments and description to my free course which comes with all of the prompts that we've talked about today showing you how to quality control the whole process showing you proof that it actually ranks showing you how to index your content and also showing you how to automate this using made.com so productive day thanks so much for being on kazra thanks for having me and if you want to book in a free seo strategy session to learn how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales free free to book that in on that live call we'll give you a one-to-one -one seo domination plan basically everything that i talk about on this channel we can automate and well sorry not automate but we can personalize to your business we can answer any questions you have you'll discover the secrets of link building you're not gonna lose anything from jumping on it no definitely not i'll jump on it after all right, see you on there then. See you there. Cheers. <laughs>